Hey everyone, Linwood here, and today I'm going to show you how to tie the Vidalia knot. So, uh, just before we get started, you're going to need a rather awkward tool to help you out with this knot, um, just in kind of getting that thickness there. And believe it or not, that tool is three squares of toilet paper. And um, I know it sounds crazy, but everybody's got toilet paper, right? If you don't have toilet paper, you probably shouldn't be watching a tie tutorial. <laughs> Um, but basically you're just going to go ahead, you're going to take that toilet paper and fold it in thirds. So it should be pretty easy because it's perforated. So I've got one, there's two, and three. And I just fold it into my little square there. I'm going to take that and fold it in half. Turn it up and fold it again. And then just fold it one more time. So I should have a small rectangle like this here. Okay? Now that we've got that prep work out of the way, I'll go ahead and take this down and we will get started. Okay you guys, so now you should have your tie, your toilet paper, you should be good to go. So we're going to start off with our uh, right side here, or my right side, with the thick end of the tie right at about my belt line. And the thin end is what we're going to do all of our tying with. I'm going to go ahead and place my crease in here and then I'm just going to bring it right on to the center. From there I'm going to take and cross over with the thin end and bring it through the middle just like so and bring that side back on over to the left side where I started. Now the thing that we want to keep in mind here is that this knot is kind of all about the looseness and so that's where the toilet paper comes in because it really helps to hold the structure of the knot while allowing some of the beauty and the more intricate portions. So we're going to take the thin end here, bring it around the back side and we're going to bring it right on through the center. So this is what we should currently have and I'm going to leave this looser for now. So let me tighten up just a bit. I still want to be able to get in there. So basically what I'm going to do is take the tail end of my tie here and I'm going to tuck it right on in there. Just like so. Now from here I can tighten up just a little bit and I'm going to go ahead and grab my toilet paper. Remember I fold it into a, tri or a triangle, learn your shapes Linwood, into a rectangle. And I'm just going to take that and insert it right in here. And then I'm just going to bring the tail end of my tie right here and bring it right through this other side. Notice that toilet paper should stay in place. So if that toilet paper is, toilet paper is not really staying in place, then you may need to uh, just tighten it up just a little bit before you do so. And from here, you're just gonna adjust a little bit so that way your toilet paper is really not visible. Okay? Because this is just to go underneath. And once you get this adjusted, it does not show for the remainder of the day. You just have to get it just right that first time. Okay, so now we've got that portion adjusted. I'm going to take the tail end of this knot and bring it around the back side. Right up through there. Bring that portion around the back again. Just like that. And I'm going to tuck through the center in this little loop I've got created here. And bring it right on down. From there, everything is just kind of left nice and loose. And the crazy thing is, usually if you leave a tie rather loose, it doesn't really have the same type of appeal and look to it that you would hope for. But since you have the stuffing in there, it holds up rather nicely. And from there, you just bring that collar right on down, and there you have it, the Vidalia knot. And um, as you can see, it's rather nice. I do have two recommendations for you on this one, and that is to go with a more plain print on your tie. Uh, the other thing would be to use a rather thin tie, something that's a little bit more on the flimsy line. It doesn't have to be excessively thin, but to me, the thinner the better on this one because it doesn't suck up so much of your fabric with the bulk. Um, so that's the Vidalia knot. I hope that you like it. And uh, of course, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. And until next time, you guys, take care. God bless and bye. Get fancy now.